Hey guys, on this video I'm going to show you how to add shadows manually on a lettering design to give some depth and a 3D illusion. I'm going to use the new Photoshop 2022 version which was recently released by Adobe. There will not be a big difference with a new version of my workflow but there is a change which I noticed and I think will be quite useful for designers using Illustrator and Photoshop at the same time. We'll see that in a moment. By the way, the Photoshop PSD file will be available on my Patreon page for all the members. I will leave a link in the description. Ok, I have created this hand lettering piece, which I have converted into vector in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to copy that and paste it into a Photoshop document which I have opened. On this new version, when I paste, you notice that there is one more option which says to paste it as layers. What that means is to paste each vector shape as a different vector layer into the document and all of them will be in a group, like that. I have added a photo as a background which I'm going to use to create a 3D illusion. I'm going to move or rotate the photo to a position that will be helpful for the lettering composition. Now I'm going to add a mask on the lettering group and hide some parts like they are behind the legs on the photo. You can use either the brush tool with black color or make selections using the pen tool and fill it with black to hide any parts. Next, I'm going to create a new layer above the group and make it a clipping mask. On this layer, I will draw the shadows from the legs on the parts that are supposed to be hidden. Now I will add a drop shadow effect using the blending option, so I right click and select blending options. Then I will create a new layer which will have the shadows from the letters on the legs. I will draw this manually using the brush tool with a smooth black brush. Next I will add a new layer on the top which will be the shadows inside the letters. I will draw this by selecting a specific area with the pen tool and draw manually with a smooth black brush. Do the same for all the letters.
After I'm done with the shadows, I would like to add some more details like ink using splatter brushes. I will do that on a new layer. If you'd like, you can hide some splashes behind the feet using a mask on the layer. And that was it, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and don't forget to share and subscribe. See you on the next video.